as the weather's cooling down, we all need to take a close look in the mirror and say, what's going on with our skin? So Dr. Melanie Palm, the founding director of the Art of Skin in Solana Beach is here with the five common mistakes that we are making and we may not even realize it. Yeah, so I thought I'd bring some interesting things to light. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is there's no such thing as a base tan. And I hear that a lot from yes. patients. And yes. so we've actually proven it. There's no such thing. And really tan is actually a sign that our skin is trying to protect, protect its genetic material. It's actually damaging if you've got a little bit of a tan, which I know people probably it's don't hard, like to hear. It's because we feel like healthier and skinnier when we have a tan, yeah. but you don't need to lay in the sun to get that look, trust me. So I talk to patients even year round, especially since we're going into fall and winter months, you still want to use sunscreen. Even okay. on cloudy days, we have 80% of the sun that we would on a sunny day. Okay, so just because it's cloudy outside and we're well into fall and maybe even winter coming up mm -hmm. here, use that sunscreen, put it on your kids, don't make that mistake and end up getting a sunburn. Do you suggest people do the spray tanning or the tanning I like lotions? that. Actually, I do. I think okay, I call good. I didn't that want you to take that away from no, me. No, <laughs> absolutely. I know people like that glow. I want you to be comfortable in the skin you're in, but if you need to do something, that's a safe way to go. Okay, perfect. Okay, next on the list is um, we're always told that the latest and greatest cream and potion for your face for some reason we think we think that the best one costs the most money yeah so you'll see some of those four hundred dollar department creams and it's you really need to look at the active ingredients there are things either over the counter or I like to talk to patients about cosmeceutical lines things that are dispensed just through physician offices okay because they often have higher concentrations of the active ingredients you want to look for things like vitamin A retinols uh, vitamin C or antioxidants like green tea, um, alpha hydroxy acids like glycolics, those are all really good ingredients that have good clinical evidence of actually working. And can I find some of those products at stores like CVS or Target? Sure, or a okay. lot of those you can find in your um, pharmacy aisle and you just need to look at the active ingredients and Perfect. ask your derm. Okay, very good to know. Um, exfoliating, we yes. are taught to exfoliate our faces and our skin, but those real rough exfoliants mm -hmm. aren't really the best to use. Can be really rough on the skin, especially for sensitive skin or acne prone skin it can sometimes make people worse and it actually can promote new broken blood vessels so I always talk to patients about chemical exfoliating using things like glycolic acids to do it using a clear sonic brush or something that's a rotating brush and we have something called derma sweep which is a crystalless microdermabrasion which is really safe to use as well okay good to know also um, another thing that you may have been taught ever since you were a child is if you get a scar or a burn to immediately put vitamin E on yeah, it yeah I mean my mom used to always do that to me and there was a good study that came out in the dermatology literature compared it placebo there's no difference in scar healing there are some things you can do though early on so I actually brought a sample we give this to patients after excisions this is sil silicone gel sheeting this is something Angelina Jolie used um, a cream application after her mastectomy and then and you would just stick this right on your skin yeah you like stick it right on and it's self sticky you just clean it daily it lasts about a month oh. I have patients use it about three months and then I love a cream called Biofine cream. It's a prescription, but pretty reasonable. Using it after burns, abrasions, newly healing things, it works great. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming in. And I guess we can just toss out that bottle of vitamin E that's greasy on our countertops, anyways. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> All right, Dr. Melanie Palm, thanks for your uh, information this morning. We certainly do appreciate thanks. it. Thanks.